right in here. Right there, here. Let me show you guys a close look. Gigantic, gigantic, gigantic female lynx spider, green lynx spider. This is a good size spider here. Look at that. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and most dangerous animals. My mission? To see if I have what it takes to change your mind about some of planet Earth's most dangerous and misunderstood creatures. Today I am headed into the Sonoran Desert in southern Arizona on the hunt for one of the most unique and beautiful spiders in the United States, the Green Lynx Spider. These beautiful arachnids get their name from their cat-like pouncing hunting style, and I'm hoping to catch one in the act of ambush. Let's go. that noise oh oh you guys scared me i didn't see you there <laughs> well folks welcome to the adventure we're just out here in the beautiful tucson area in some absolutely mouth-watering desert and i'm just scanning some uh, some plant life for some green lynx spiders so I'm happy you guys were able to join me out here. I was thinking I was gonna have to do this all by myself. Uh, so it's always more fun with company. So we're gonna get searching, we're gonna get scanning because these green link spiders, they are, as the name might suggest, G-R-E-E-E-I-E-E-Y-E-E-E-U-H-T-H-N-W-X-Y-Z, green. So it's really, really can be tough to spot these lovely little arachnids. So uh, I got to keep my eyes peeled. And uh, with you guys helping me, I'm sure we'll be able to spot one. Uh, so uh, without any further ado, we are going to get to uh, hopefully catching some green link spiders. Green lynx spiders can be found in the southern U.S. and are quite common in the southwestern states. I may be biased, but I think these are easily some of the most beautiful native spiders we have here in North America. Those vibrant greens, pinks, and yellows are so striking and bright. You don't have to like spiders to recognize that these are some good-looking arachnids. I'm checking out a lot of these cacti because uh, they are <laughs> green and uh, they're also covered in spines and that is great if you're a spider that wants to blend in and not get messed with from birds or mammals or any other types of predators, right? So uh, hopefully we can uh, maybe uh, locate one of these spiders uh, using this technique, this strategy, right? top-level brass animal searching stuff. My eyes were beginning to fatigue after scanning cacti and plants in the morning sun for hours. I was beginning to worry all the green link spiders got the memo I was coming and decided to all go on vacation. Just when we were getting ready to head to another spot, I noticed something. Are you filming? Are yeah, you filming? man. No okay. one. Check this out. Look what I just spotted on this cactus here, folks. I'm gonna try not to get poked too hard. Right in here. Right there, here. Let me show you guys a close look. Gigantic, gigantic, gigantic female lynx spider, green lynx spider. I am gonna capture this sucker and uh, show you guys, give you guys a closer look. These are awesome, awesome spiders. I've been keeping my eye out on this vegetation where these animals like to hang out and hunt. And uh, safe to say, I think uh, my head was in the right place here. Oh, it's trying to run away. Oh, 
Wow, 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 wow. These are such gorgeous green spiders and they are wonderful hunters. Let's, uh, we'll get to a nice spot and some shade so you guys can see some amazing detail on this spider because it's one of the nicer ones out here. All right, so we've got, uh, we're in our nice little nook here. I'm gonna get out this beautiful, gigantic link spider. This is pretty much, whoa, as big as they get, right folks? This is a good size spider here. Look at that. Now these animals don't actually make webs to hunt for food. They pounce on their food while they hide in vegetation. And that's where that amazing kind of green coloration is really, really effective because uh, they're able to pretty effectively camouflage in vegetation, right? So as they kind of lie and wait, wait for invertebrates to get close enough for them to pounce on. That's actually where they get that name, Lynx Spider. They're very cat-like in their hunting strategy. So they will literally pounce on their prey like a lynx. Wow, folks, these are beautiful spiders and they're so kind of creepy looking, but they've got all that amazing kind of green. Good night. Amazing green and almost reds and yellows on the legs. They are just fantastic. Fantastic little arachnids, and she is covering me in webs. Like she's ready to jump again, I'm sure. Look at that. Now, a lot of people think that these lynx spiders have powerful, potent, venomous bites, but that's not really the case. These animals are venomous, like most spiders are, um, but not dangerous to humans. Their bites really don't do much more than uh, maybe a little bit of some stinging, some burning sensation, uh, but nothing too crazy. That's because these animals are almost entirely feeding on invertebrates. That venom is really geared towards killing and destroying the, uh, the bodies of insects and other arachnids and things like that. They really have no need to have super effective venom against mammals. But uh, really, really, really neat. They're so weird. Whoa, crazy jump. You see where they get that lynx pouncing name, right? They're pouncing on their prey. So despite not having crazy powerful legs like maybe the jumping spiders, these animals are more than capable of making quick, effective, and precise jumps as they attack their prey. Like many arachnids, these green lynx spiders have a killer maternal instinct. These females often lay their eggs in the fall around September and October, and they guard them tirelessly. Although generally unlikely to bite, if one of these spiders is guarding her sack, she will readily attack to defend it. Like most other spider species, this one is venomous, although it is not medically significant to people. Nothing to worry about from these beautiful spiders. Now, aren't these just such spectacularly beautiful spiders? Now, of course, like most, if not all of the spiders out here in this desert, these animals fall prey to a whole host of other creatures. Anything from birds to lizards to even large toads and things like that, maybe even bats, will pick off these beautiful little spiders. So that's where that beautiful green coloration and hiding on prickly cacti can actually help these animals survive, right? Not only is this camouflage, but it helps them to pick out some of these green cacti, which are pretty effective in deterring uh, animals from getting too close as well. So these animals really have a pretty good life out here in the desert because although it might look pretty barren, there's so much invertebrate life out here. And I can tell by this big old juicy rump, this fat abdomen back here, that this lovely spider has been getting more than enough to eat. She might actually be gravid. She might be pregnant. So uh, that's super cool. It looks like uh, these beautiful green lynx spiders are doing quite well out here in this habitat. That's so cool. Ah. No, she's a sweetheart. Look at that, folks. 
That is the green lynx spider. I can barely even feel her. She's not very heavy. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. Look, I'm a cactus. If I stay completely still, she'll resume her natural foraging behavior. That was pretty good. Were you guys convinced? Did you think I was a cactus for a second? I can understand. Don't lie to preserve my feelings, but I already know the answer is yes. You were totally convinced. As was this link spider. She's too far up there. But take one last look at that. We're gonna get her off my nose here in a second and uh, get her back to her lovely life on her lovely little cactus that she's chosen for herself. A little itchy. <laughs> Hope I don't sneeze. <gasps> Just kidding. The green lynx spider is a perfect example of a beautiful animal that could easily be overlooked. Whether it was the fantastic camouflage that obscured it, or maybe a fear of spiders that keeps you from getting too close, many people likely go their entire lives without seeing the detail on these animals. It's these encounters I love to bring you all at home. I love to highlight the forgotten or ignored beauty of this planet. There is an endless tapestry of art all around you. Just open your eyes and look. Spiders aren't the monsters people think they are. They are often beautiful, complex, and fascinating creatures just doing their jobs in their respective ecosystems. Well, folks, we've had a fantastic time with our beautiful little green link spider. So I'm going to stick her right back on her lovely cactus here. Look, you're home. And there she goes. Oh, too cool. Kind of wraps some of that anchor web around. Well, folks, I hope that uh, you had fun with today's video. We got to see a wicked cool green link spider, a big old chunky one. And uh, we had some fun along the way. So thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this adventure. I hope that you learned something. And I hope if I left you with anything, I can leave you with this. Just recognize this animal had no interest in biting me, even after it was disturbed, even after I removed her from her safe home that she has here on this cactus. These spiders, like all spiders, aren't out to get us. They aren't aggressive. They are only defensive in situations where they think their life might be in danger. We can't ask them to do anything less than that. So remember, a spider might be creepy or crawly, but it's not here to hurt you. It's not here to cause you harm. As long as you give them space or you can cup them and throw them out of your house, you are in absolutely 0% danger. So uh, I hope that uh, this video was able to show you that and also showcase the fantastic beauty of these lovely green link spiders. But that's really all I've got for you today. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you liked it. And uh, be sure to comment any additional questions you might have about these beautiful, uh, beautiful spiders here. But other than that, I got to get rolling. We got to find some more stuff to film today. So uh, peace out. Hope you're doing well. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you next week. Uh, but until then, take care of yourselves, and uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll catch you next Friday.